up, YouTube? It's your boy, Shakes P. Keeping it 100. Y'all already know how we do here, man. If you're new to the channel, please smash that subscribe button. Click that post notification bell. Make sure to like, share, and comment down below. Right now, we're going to jump into a reaction. It's been a little bit since we've reacted to this dude right here. The way y'all hit me up in the comments, I couldn't put this off any longer. Right now, we're going to react to your boy, Ren Eden. Ren, it is on you. Let's go. Let me tell you a story as old as time. The story of Adam and Eve. It starts with a god who wanted more. So I have no clue what to expect with this. Uh, I love the fact that it's a little bit of a, that it's a little bit of like a Nintendo kind of um, bit graphic -y, like Sega Genesis or something like that. The oldest time, the story of Adam and Eve. It starts with a god who wanted more. God had just created the heavens and the earth. He had the angels by his side, but they had no will of their own. And so the autonomy to love or reject him was never theirs. All but for one. The once called bringer of light. Lucifer Morningstar. Lucifer was the fairest and most intelligent of all the angels. He was the Is this like a story song or is he going to get into song? Because this is crazy. Lucifer Morningstar Lucifer was the fairest and most intelligent of all the angels. He was the closest thing to God's image, and in his likeliness, Lucifer felt restless. He began to question and doubt God. He doubted the hierarchy opposed upon him. He felt God was arrogant. In his frustration, Lucifer built a throne that stood even above God's and declared mutiny. A war ensued. God being all-powerful came out the victor and banished Lucifer from the heavens and exiled him to earth. Once again, God was alone with his power. Perhaps from loneliness, perhaps from curiosity, perhaps from a desire to share love, God began to work on his greatest project yet, a being that would mirror himself, the human, two humans specifically, Adam and Eve. They were placed inside a paradise built for them on earth, the Garden of Eden, in the garden, God placed a tree that bared fruit that would grant anyone who ate it powers bestowed only to a God. This is crazy good, man. To tell good from evil, left from right, to live righteously or to sin. He named this the tree of knowledge. God told Adam and Eve they could eat whatever they wanted in the garden, but never the fruit from the tree of knowledge. And if they disobeyed him, it would be punishable by death. The basic way the story of Eden is told is that Eve was tempted by Lucifer in the form of a serpent to eat a fruit from the tree of knowledge. Convinced, she bit the fruit, she passed it to Adam and he did the same. Suddenly, ultimate knowledge filled their minds and they realized they were naked and felt shame. God discovered this betrayal and felt anger. He exiled Adam and Eve and cursed them with the life of a mortal. They would work, they would bear children and they would die. The fate of a human. Now look deeper. In the story, the serpent tempted me by telling me I would gain ultimate knowledge and that God would spare. This is genius. This just goes to show the genius of the artist that is Ren. Is that Candace Owens' voice? It kind of sounds like Candace Owens. Look deeper. In the story, the serpent tempted me by telling me I would gain ultimate knowledge and that God would spare me. Both were true. This wasn't some great deception, meaning that Satan, in the likeliness of God, perhaps understood his intentions. In fact, the only lie uttered in the Garden of Eden was by God, who did not end up condemning Adam and Eve to death. This could be seen as an act of mercy, but the sheer fact that the tree existed and that humans were initially cut off from this knowledge may imply some part of God was afraid that if humans were granted the gift of perception, they, like Lucifer, would, would have the power, power to reject, reject him too. too. The fact that there stood a beautiful tree that could grant this knowledge in the first place implies that a small part of God, supposedly all-knowing, perhaps wanted and intended the humans to bite too. In the Bible, Satan was an exiled angel of free will. Humans are exiled descendants of Adam and Eve, also with free will. Not only have we shared a similar fate to the devil, we were also both constructed in the image of our Creator. 
our creator meaning our behaviors in some shape or form imperfectly echo his we could assume that this kind of god has his dead doubts but as the most powerful being in the universe he has no one above him to turn to with questions and no one to doubt but himself an incredibly lonely and isolating existence we must only assume that the common thread between god lucifer and us is the desire for more an eternal curiosity a desire perhaps birthed from a seed of loneliness if not why would we exist in the first place the constantly looping bittersweet irony is whether gifted by some omnipotent god or simply a byproduct of billions of years of evolution here we stand in 2023 as creatures with free will the only creatures that understand and define good from bad creatures with the potential of a god and what do we do with that free will my friends throw it away we willingly walk to the edge of a cliff in the name of progress we jump off the precipice the empires we build ravage the earth the natural order of things are necessary to survive any systems which do not honor homeostasis eventually perish our free will overrides our own biological instinct we can take more than we eat we can kill more than we need we can willingly create weapons with the potential to burn everything we've built to the ground we willingly decide to bow at the altar of greed the most insidious and destructive of all sins we put our faith in corporations who pose as rulers we willingly allow ourselves to be listen to that we put our faith in companies that pose as rulers built to the ground we willingly decide to bow at the altar of greed the most insidious and destructive of all sins we put our faith in corporations who pose as rulers we willingly allow ourselves to be led by outdated power systems ran by corrupted politicians and bloated dictators who claim domain and dominion over an open and free land we willingly elect the corrupted when the decision was always ours to build something better we willingly create and impose separation because of beliefs that we are force fed through our phones and television sets we always had the will to reject these things but we adhere to them as though they were the laws of physics war famine pestilence greed these aren't things imposed upon us by an all-powerful god or by his demonic adversary they are here because of us not because of free will but because of our inability to use it we must be motivated to be better not out of fear of punishment of an eternal damnation but because the choice exists Thanks. because we love ourselves because we have the power to absolve ourselves of so much unnecessary suffering i love this guy. take a second to be in this very moment in this moment how much suffering is happening all over the planet right now how many people are dying of illnesses that could have easily been cured but aren't because of the selfishness and greediness of humanity? How many people break their backs and reject their own passions to simply afford bills and food? How many of us crave distraction from existence? How many of us numb that pain in whatever way necessary? How many children are being abused? How many people sleep cold and hungry on the streets? How many of us become cogs inside a machine that is destroying itself? How many soldiers have been forced to fight in me meaningless wars how many humans have killed for ideals they don't believe in or understand how many people have died for the greed of another man and how much of this was avoidable as written in the bible satan was not condemned to hell satan was condemned to earth he lives there amongst other creatures with free will who always had the choice and still chose their own undoing Excellent. ladies and gentlemen this is our self-made hell the bittersweet irony is this is a creation of our own design. Wow. I'll leave you with this. Consider what you have done here today. You have worked together as individuals collaborating to form a giant neural network, a hive mind capable of achieving incredible things. We have lent on each other's strengths to solve puzzles and decipher riddles, and we've done so to win money. Imagine applying that same spirit and determination to creating the closest thing we have to paradise here on earth. 
By using the power of collaboration, we can work together to even the playing field for everybody. Our dystopias can become utopias. Our jahannams can become jannah. Our hells can become heaven, right here on earth. And this sentiment applies to atheists, agnostics, and believers alike. Myself, I'm an agnostic who believes. I believe in us. We must do better because we can choose to. We must be better simply because the option exists. Thank you. Woo! When I say I need a second to process all of that, I need a second to process all of that. I love the fact that it's him narrating it. Ah, his accent just, just makes it hit home. Hit, hit, hit a little bit harder. Um, I was good on so many different levels. I didn't know what to expect going into this. It just goes to show the versatility that is Ren. It goes to show the human that is Ren. It goes to show the man that is Ren. It just goes to show the man and the person that Ren stands for. Like, if you're not woke at this point, if your eyes aren't open to certain things at this point. They're just never going to be. So just continue doing your your your, your daily routine because this isn't meant for you. But like, at the end of the day, how can you not like something like this? Again, I don't get goosebumps from certain things very often. I love how he was able to articulate this and put this in a way where everybody could understand it. I love the fact that it was visually there for you as well. So like you could follow along very easily. The narration was just amazing. And it just goes to show like, man, like a lot of people don't have certain like attention spans to just listen to somebody talk for nine minutes. But this was engaging. This was informative. And this was just like one for the people. Like, for those nine minutes, it didn't give a shit what color your skin was, what country you're from, what religion you are, what class society is throwing you in. This is a song to band everybody together. Come together as one. People don't understand that the governments are there for us. We govern the governments. But somewhere down the line, we gave up and we gave the power away. But the power lies within the numbers. And the people outnumber everybody by such a strong number that it's absolutely crazy. Um, people just need to wake up, man. We are all one. We all bleed red. Until like, you cut somebody and they start bleeding purple, green, or blue. Hey, man, I'm not going to stop believing in humanity. Humanity will get there eventually. And if they don't, well, at the end of the day. It also goes to show the fight that this man has. Like, I know about it. I know about Ren's Lyme disease. I know the fight that he fights. But to put something out there like this speaks volume of the person that is Ren. YouTube, y'all already know what it is at this point, man. Y'all know how we do over here. I keep it 100. I keep it absolutely 100%. But y'all, if you're new to the channel, please smash that subscribe button. Click that post notification bell. Make sure to like, share, and comment down below. We're this close. Woo! We're this close to the 50,000 subscriber mark. It would be so cool going into the new year at that 50,000 mark. It's not a matter of if, it's a matter of when. It would mean the absolute world to me if, if you guys just hit that subscriber button. As always, in the description is the link to what we're reacting to. So if you like this, which I know you do, click that link if you haven't already. And go subscribe over to Ren's channel. For those of y'all that don't also know, this channel is centered around charity and giving back to my community. Um, I got a food and toy drive initiative leading up to Christmas. Everything, whether it's from videos we post, live streams, donation requests, everything is going towards this initiative. Um, I send almost a thousand children to school every year who can't afford to go to school with um, uniforms, notebooks, pens, pencils, erasers, everything that they need, including a feeding program for school. So everything that they need um, for school, we did a survey and these were the children that we help the school that we help are deemed the most in need um, We also have a feeding program attached to this. So like I found out from la after last year's um, back to school program that These children were going to school without food and water So I made sure that there was a feeding program attached now each student is getting a snack at recess lunch and a snack in afternoon recess as well as refillable waters in every classroom um 
the same families, I'm going to supply a, one whole chicken and a one kilo sack of rice as well as a bag of toys for the kids um, on Christmas Day. Anybody interested in getting behind and supporting, information is in the description. Click that PayPal link. There is a message there. All donations come with a reaction to anything of your choice. Feel free to post a YouTube URL there, and I will react to that. If you want to send me a line and drop me a message, please do as well. In the description is my email address. For anybody that has any questions, um, concerns, or just about anything, about, about, about certain reactions you want me to do, hit me up. I respond to everything. It's your boy, Shakespeare, keeping it 100, and I'm out.